We have breaking news tonight. Minutes ago, another teen was shot and hurt in Aurora. It happened in the 1700 block of North Chester Street. No life-threatening injuries, so that is a good thing there. But this makes the fifth teen shot in Aurora in less than a week. Two of them have died. The first happened Monday afternoon. 18-year-old Jason Phillips was shot and killed in Aurora in an apartment complex parking lot near the Aurora Town Center. On Friday, two 16-year-olds were shot inside their car. It happened around 7 o'clock just west of Aurora Central High School. One boy died while another was injured. And just yesterday, a 15-year-old was shot outside a restaurant near Warren and Havana. He's still in critical condition. Our Connor McHugh is in Aurora tonight, where a city program is working on ways to prevent these types of incidents. And Connor, they're already working to connect some of these resources with at-risk teens. Yeah, and Kelly, one of those solutions is to give these teens a place to go on weekend nights so they can get away from dangerous situations and be closer to resources that they may need. These pop-up events that they are putting up every single weekend now or many weekends now are just a part of the uh, overall solution, won't fix all of the problem, but it's part of a major plan that the city is developing with experts to address this issue. Outside Damian Alcazar's Aurora home remain broken pieces of fence. The car came this way. Damian says he heard gunshots before the crash in his front yard and little could prepare him for what he saw next. Then you see these kids coming out of there with gunshot wounds and and this is, a, you know, the car full of bu full of bullet holes. Aurora police say two 16 year olds were in that car when someone fired at it near 12th and Ironton. One of the teens later died at a hospital. It's one of three shootings involving youth in Aurora this week, resulting in injury or death. The city does have a um, public health crisis. Christina Amparan manages Aurora's new youth violence prevention program. She says this year, violent crime among youth is actually down, but over the span of many years, it's increasing. There's a lot of concern around gangs, youth having access to guns, um, but also um, youth that don't have connections to positive adult figures. While long term, the goal is to work with Denver on a comprehensive plan. They're already implementing immediate solutions like working with at risk youth, doing community assessments and hosting pop up events where teens can access resources. The more community activation we have in our communities, the, mo the more we can lessen some of the criminal behavior that's happening. And in those neighborhoods. Neighborhoods like Damien's, where the call for solutions is more urgent than before. Youth recklessness is common, but now this is a company of guns. Now, there are several of these pop-up events planned for next weekend. We'll be posting a link on our website to that program and its calendar of events. Again, that'll be on cbsdenver.com. Live tonight in Aurora, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you.